Hi everybody. So I thought I'd jump on uh, Brian from Got Fuel's Monolith Garage challenge to show off our workspace. So I thought I'd do that. Uh, first of all, I share a spot with my wife when she's working from home. Uh, she sits across from me over in this area. Um, she has also got her own personal computer and stuff sitting there. And obviously, I sit over on that side. But first, I thought I'd just kind of take you around the room, just show you <clears throat> my hobby area. So up here in each one of these boxes are all of my unpainted miniatures for wargaming and um, um, other gaming, not just wargaming, but like pulp action and a few other things. And there's some more, those are all my acrylic inks buildings I've put together, more unpainted miniatures, and then uh, my board games, which by the way, I'm actually going to start thinning out. Um, if anyone is interested in a list of the board games I'm gonna be selling, uh, let me know uh, in the comments. I'll leave my email address in the description so you guys can email me if, um, if you don't already have it. But I'm gonna be thinning out some of my board games. And there's just some of the stash ads I have. Uh, most of these you guys have seen. But essentially, <clears throat> I have a lot of stuff. I need to clean it out. Need a little better storage and all that kind of fun stuff. It's all my some of my terrain making supplies. Um, I do collect uh, artwork. So when I go to um, the Rose City Comic Con, I buy art. But um, also you can see, I've met a few people at these conventions. So Lou Ferrigno, who's an idol of mine. And then... Uh, some other pieces of art where I've picked up just a little bit of everything so there's some artwork there sorry for the shaky cam folks uh, but these are some of my books for reference material. There's mm -hmm. my uh, spray booth. So it goes right out the window. There's my car in the background. And just some more of my spray booth supplies, more gaming uh, buildings and things like that. Some of these you've seen. Um, pedestals for my uh, large-scale figures and a dragon I've been attempting to paint for my daughter and some of my storage area so most of my cabinets all come from Ikea except for this this is I just found this this thing in the dollar store or no Fred Meyer, I think, which is a grocery store for us. And let's keep you know, sanding supplies and cups for mixing paints. All my Tamiya paints are in here. More Tamiya paints. And then more of my paints. These are. Um, Scale 75 artist colors. There's some of the acrylic paints back there. There's Alclad, uh, thinners, glues, uh, panel washes. These are all my splash paints. 
up in the window, a little airbrush can, um, receptacle for spraying out the brush when I'm done. Airbrush cleaner, some Mr. Level, Mr. Holly leveling thinner. And then um, some more just hobby supplies and things like that. And up here, so all my artist acrylics. Oil paints for my large scale figures. And then up in here, all of my um, hobby colors. <coughs> Excuse me. So, like Scale 75, um, Chimera, AK, Interactive, Andrea colors. Uh, up on the top, there's. Um, primers, there's gloss varnishes, there's a uh, flow improver, uh, there's, um, ooh, what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, stuff for my oil, oil paints for thinning those, um, different varnishes for oils. Oh, and these are figures that I've collected. Uh, some gifts that I've gotten from my daughter. She painted this little octopus for me and she got me that when they were in, my wife and daughter went to uh, Disney. And up here you can see my uh, Bigfoot, which is my uh, little sign that I put up in front of my videos. Build the Bear, my daughter did for me. Much more of the artwork I've purchased. Obviously, I'm gonna put up more of it. But uh, down here is just more reference material. Up in here is all my uh, large scale figures that I need to paint. More reference material, paper towels, some more hobby paints. Down in here are miniatures. Uh, these are all planes. There's some more board games down there and then there's some and then these are all uh gaming rules that i own along with more reference material down in here is all painting reference materials more painting reference stuff down here uh some of the comics i've collected which need to go in a box over here uh, more painting reference material along with DVDs for TV series the TV series that I like uh, my wife uh, crochets and she makes these amagaruni um, figures a little bee she makes some wonderful stuff and, oh yeah, there's my computer with my, uh, that would be a dream car. And then my workbench. So when I shoot a video, I actually use this tripod that you see in front of you, in front of my desk, or I use this arm, which uh, I actually saw in Justin's uh, channel, JH Model Works. Uh, he had pointed this out in one of his videos and I picked that up. So I use this on occasion as well. Sorry, put stuff around. Sorry for the shaky cam. My airbrushes, but uh, this is my desk. And right, so I have the brushes in the round container are all my oil paints, or for my oil paints. Everything here in the rectangular one are for acrylics. Ones back here are um, holders and crap brushes, or really cheap brushes that I would use for train making, things like that. Hobby supplies. And Q-tips for cleaning the airbrush and other things. Over here, you'll see there's lacquer thinner, acetone, 
<clears throat> pledge uh, for um, you know the floor polish. And over there are some figures the submarine that I did. This is a fun little piece. Bring this over here. This is called oops, there's Batwoman um, finishing up on. This is called a paint puck. And what's nice about this is A, the hold your brushes so that when you're drying a brush, you can put it point down so the water drips down away from the ferrule. But inside it has those little scrubbers, so when you finish painting and you've got to rinse it off, you can put it in there to rinse the, really scrub the bristles out and get all that paint out of there. So that really works well. And you can find those online. It's called the Paint Puck. And some miscellaneous uh, solvent jars, things like that. Uh, there's Batwoman. So, now, everybody's talked about other things about being important. The most important thing that I can tell somebody who's just starting is good lighting. So this light I found on Amazon, and it's a photography light. It's LED, it's completely dimmable. I used a, a uh, monitor stand. So it's just uh, extra tall. I bolted this to it. It's actually on a swivel. So something that you can use for like a camera. Okay. So I can adjust the light any way I need to. Okay. But for the most part, it kind of just kind of stays in that position for now. But I have moved it when I needed to. But this gives very, very good lighting for painting, right? Especially when I'm doing figures, okay? It is uh, perfect for that kind of painting. Right? It's non-glare, it's uh, daylight. It really shows colors very, very well and is excellent. Even painting cars shows up really, really well. So there's that. And I have another light here in case I need it. So in case I'm taking a photo or something like that, I can move this over and shine. I can shine the lights in this direction. Okay. And I showed you my airbrush station. I'm gonna walk you over here real quick because I have another cabinet. So it's all the basing material. Some of the basing materials I have for my miniatures when I'm wargaming or when I'm putting stuff together. But in here, oops, move some stuff around. So in here is more hobby supplies. So more paint, more of the uh, uh, weathering stuff, uh, exacto knives. more weathering, diorama stuff, stuff for um, the gaming table, making uh, scenery, things like that. There's more down here, and there's even more basing down here along with um, tufts and things like that for my gaming bases. So there's all of that. And I also have flags. And then I thought, because I don't have a really good place for this, and I'm, which is part of the reason why I'm gonna sell some of these games. So again, if you're interested, let me know. Uh, and I'll send you out a list of what I have in case you're interested for those of you who like board games. I'm gonna show you, take a walk down the hallway here. This is my our hallway closet. You see, I kind of took some of the stuff over with my model stash. It's all up in here. There's a couple of things in the back there. There's more stuff in here. Mm -hmm. 
some family board games, things like that. Warm my models. <laughs> family board games. There's uh, more stuff back in there. More models in the background. And that's about it. Obviously, I do not have a stash like some of you guys, which is okay because I don't have a whole lot of room, as you can see, for a big stash. But that's essentially my work area. So I thought I'd just bring you back over into this area. It's actually a nice sunny day here in Oregon. But that's it. This is my work area. I have... Uh, probably one of the best gaming chairs or it's the best chair not gaming chair but best chair I've ever had for my work area and it's a gaming chair <clears throat> it's very comfortable and rolls really easily I have one of those little mats down there on the floor so it will roll very very easily um, yeah so I hope you like the tour I do have some storage and things like that down under here uh, for miscellaneous car parts things like that but uh yeah that's it so i hope everybody is doing well i hope you find this uh interesting and informative if you have any questions about anything you saw let me know and i'll uh answer them in the comment section okay so everybody uh have a great wonderful weekend and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.